divine mercy, inspiring hope against all hope. I trust in you. Altogether, eternal Amen. God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible. Trespass against us, to not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Can we take page 92? Today we will pray for the grace to be merciful to others. This prayer gives us a true measure of our mercy, a mirror in which we observe ourselves as merciful Christ. We can make it our morning invocation and our evening examination of conscience. Altogether, O most holy trinity, as many times as I breathe, as many times as my heart beats, as many times as my blood pulsates through my body, so many thousand times I do want to glorify your mercy. I want to be completely transformed into your mercy and to be your living reflection, O Lord. May the greatest of all divine attributes that of your unfathomable mercy pass through my heart and soul to my neighbor. Help me, O Lord, that my eyes may be merciful so that I may never suspect or judge from appearance but look for what is beautiful in my neighbor's soul and come to their rescue. Help me that my ears may be merciful so that I may give heed to my neighbor's needs and not be indifferent in their pains and mournings. Help me, Lord, that my tongue may be merciful so that I should never speak negatively of my neighbor but have a word of comfort and forgiveness for all. Help me, O Lord, that my hands may be merciful and filled with good deeds so that I may do only good to my neighbors and take upon myself the more difficult and toilsome task. Help me that my feet may be merciful so that I may hurry to assist my neighbor, overcoming my own fatigue and weariness. My true rest is in the service of my neighbor Help me, O Lord, that my heart may be merciful so that I myself may feel all the sufferings of my neighbor. I will refuse my heart to no one. I will be sincere even with those who I know will abuse my kindness. And when I lock myself up in the most merciful heart of Jesus, I will bear my own suffering in silence. May your mercy, O Lord, rest upon me. 
you yourself command me to exercise the three degrees of mercy. The first, act of mercy of whatever kind. The second, the word of mercy. If I cannot carry out a work of mercy, I will assist by my words. The third, prayer. If I cannot show mercy by deeds or words, I can always do so by prayer. My prayer reaches out even there where I cannot reach out physically. O oh my Jesus, transform me into yourself, for all you can do all things. Kindly take hymn number 449. Hymn number 449. What thanks, O Lord, can I render Thee for all the gifts Thou hast shed on me? Each day I'll sing of Thy praise and glory. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Give thanks to the Lord upon the heart. With a ten string lute, sing him song. Oh, sing him a song that is new. Play loudly with all your skill. What thanks, O oh Lord, can I render thee for all the gifts thou hast shed on me? Day I'll sing of thy praise and glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. At this mercy hour, let us offer one our Father, one Hail Mary and Glory be for the souls of Norman and Francis who will be in this church before this altar in a short while from now. We pray also for their families in mourning, especially their spouses. Together, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And we conclude with glory be together. Glory be to the Father Amen. and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. In one voice. Jesus, I trust in you. Thank you and see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Tomorrow we have the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. We have the singing of the chaplet, the singing of the praises, a homily. We have the dedication and consecration to the Divine Mercy. And we have the benediction. Thank you and see you tomorrow.
For entrance, kindly take hymn number 202. Hymn number 202. Him number 202, verse 2. If we live, live for the Lord, if we die, it's for the Lord, for Christ rose to be the Lord of the living and of the dead. Verse 2. Where, oh death, where is your victory? Where, oh death, where is your power to hurt? For the Lord has conquered sin and death. By his cross we are made free. If we live, it's for the Lord. For the Lord, for Christ rose to be the Lord of the living and of the dead. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we have gathered here this afternoon to bid farewell to two of our community members. On the one hand, we bid farewell to Norman and on the other hand, we bid farewell to Francis both going to meet the Lord in the octave of Easter when the Lord has risen and is with us here they are proclaiming that they are glorified also with Christ our Savior we pray for their families 
their wives and their children, that God may give them sufficient strength to bear this loss, the loss of the head of their families. As we go along with this Eucharist, the Eucharist also speaks about another death, and that is the death of Jesus. So we celebrate these three deaths today together. The death of Norman, the death of Francis, and the death of Jesus. And we offer it to the Lord as we break bread together and pray for them that the Lord may welcome them into the gates of heaven. The question that I ought to ask each one of you present for this funeral is, do you believe in the resurrection? Or is resurrection one more dogma that we live year by year as we celebrate Easter? For us, Jesus is not dead, he is alive. And he is present with us this afternoon as we bid farewell to our two brothers of our parish community. We now acknowledge our sins especially of not believing in the resurrection of our Lord. And we ask the Lord to touch us, to heal us, and to make us participants of this great banquet. All together and loudly, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us. Let's give glory and praise to God. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God, Glory, 
glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the abundance of your grace give increase to the people who be believe in you, look with favor on those you have chosen and clothe with blessed immortality, those reborn to the sacrament of baptism through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, when the rulers and elders and scribes saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated common men, they were astonished. And they recognized that they had been with Jesus. But seeing the man who was healed standing beside them, they had nothing to say in opposition. But when they had commanded them to leave the council, they conferred with one another, saying, What shall we do with these men? For that a notable sign has been performed through them is evident to all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. But in order that it may spread no further among the people, let us warn them to speak no more to anyone in this name. So they called them and charged them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered them, Whether it is right in the sight of God to listen to you rather than to God, you must judge, for we cannot speak for we cannot but speak of what we have seen and heard. And when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding no way to punish them because of the people, for all were praising God for what had happened. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, I will thank you, Lord, for you have answered me. I will thank you, Lord, for you have answered me. All together. I will thank you, Lord, for you have answered me. Give praise to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my song. He was my savior. There are shouts of joy and salvation in the tents of the just. The response. I will thank you, Lord, for you have answered me. The Lord's right hand has done mighty deeds. His right hand is exalted. The Lord's right hand has done mighty deeds. I shall not die, I shall live, and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord punished me, punished me severely, but did not hand me over to death. Response. I will thank you, Lord, for you have answered me. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter and thank the Lord. This is the Lord's own gate, where the just enter. I will thank you, for you have answered, and you are my Savior. 
response. I will thank you, Lord, for you have answered me. Kindly rise. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, Lord. <clears throat> when Jesus rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him as they mourned and wept. But when they heard that he was alive, and had been seen by her, they would not believe it. After these things, he appeared in another form to two of them as they were walking into the country. And they went back and told the rest, but they did not believe them. Afterwards, he appeared to the eleven themselves as they were reclining at table. And he rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they had not believed. Those who saw him after he had risen, and he said to them, go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand, all of you. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O oh Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending, unending joy. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to be right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but above all, to laud you yet more gloriously 
when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord, holy is the Lord God of Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord God of hosts. Blessed you who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them, let the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to the disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Cardinal Oswald, gracious our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember Norman and Francis, whom you have called today from the world to yourself. Grant that they, who are united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his 
resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Blaise, and all the other saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a meaningful sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, the away the sins of the world, of the world. Have, have mercy on us. On us. Lamb, of Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Hymn number 182, I am the bread of life, 182. Holy Communion, which is now being distributed, is only for baptized Catholics. Our brethren of other faith kindly remain seated and participate in the singing. Pavitra Krista Sharir Jovi Bata Jayaga, Sirif Christi Logon Ke Liye Hai, Hamare Anya Dharam Ke Bhaiyo Beno, कृपया बैठे रहे और गायन में भाग लें हिम नंबर 182 
Stand all of you. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. everyone. I remember my dad always singing Konkani songs, whistling and always 
he was the life of any party. He will always be remembered as a good husband, father, and a very good friend. On behalf of my family, I would like to thank all the priests of our parish, the choir, and all who are present here today. The memorial mass will be held on 12th April at 7 p.m. in St. Blaise Church. Dear family and friends, as we gather together to bid farewell to my dear father, Francis Fernandez, I want to say a few words about him. My father was a kind, gentle soul. He was very soft-spoken and calm. He supported mummy, me and Lenata in every possible way. We want to tell him we love him a lot and we will miss his physical presence in our lives. We firmly believe that he will continue to bless and guide us from heaven, of heavenly abode and in and intercede for us always. Your going was a big shock for us. You bravely fought in the hospital towards signs of recovery. We were happy that we could take you home and we were convinced that the worst had passed. But, but the Lord had different plans for you. It is said that God picks up the best bloom from his garden. We firmly believe you are the best. Go in peace, dear Papa. We promise we will look after Mummy. I want to thank the doctors, nurses and the caregiver who, who took care of Papa. I also want to thank each one of you who have gathered here for supporting us in our difficult times. It would have been difficult to sail without you all. Please continue to keep us in our prayers. The month's mind mass will be on 4th. Thank you. This is to inform the family of Norman and Francis that the final prayers of this funeral rite will be said in the church together. And after all the prayers are said, then we will take the body for burial in the church cemetery. Please stand for the final blessing. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. After every invocation, our response will be Amen. May Almighty God bless you through the Easter solemnity and in His compassion, defend you from envy, every assault of sin, our response. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten, endow you with the prize of immortality, our response. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Our response? Amen. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Keep standing for the final condemnation and farewell. With faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the bodies of our two brothers of our parish community, Norman and Francis, to be buried in its human imperfection. Let us pray with confidence to God who gives life to all things, that he will raise up these two mortal bodies to the perfection and the company of the saints. May God give both our brothers a merciful judgment and forgive all their sins. May Christ the Good Shepherd lead both of them safely home 
to be at peace with God our Father. And may they be happy forever with all the saints in the presence of the eternal King. Let's maintain a few minutes of silence as the body will now be sprinkled and incensed. Our response will now be receive their souls and present it to God the Most High. Please repeat. Receive their souls and present it to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to their aid. Come to meet them, angels of the Lord. Our response. Receive their souls and present them to God the Most High. May Christ who called them take you to, him, to themselves. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Our response? We receive their souls and present them to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon, him, upon them. May their souls rest in peace. Our response? We receive their souls and present them to God the Most High. Father, into your hands we commend our brothers, Norman and Francis. We are confident that with all who have died in Christ, they will be raised to life on the last day and live with Christ forever. We thank you for all the blessings you gave both of them in this life to show your fatherly care for all of us and the fellowship which is ours with the saints in Jesus Christ. Lord, hear our prayers for Francis and Norman. Welcome them to paradise and help us to comfort each other with the assurance of our faith until we all meet in Christ to be with you and with our brothers forever. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now the body will be taken to the cemetery for burial. First, we request the body of Norman Albuka to be taken to the cemetery, and then the body of Francis will follow. This sessional hymn, hymn number 141. Hymn number 141. God is good to me, oh, what love I see. Jesus as the lamp was slain, he delivered me, clear.
something about that.